It's so hot in here. Man, I don't know about you, but today here in California, it is hot. It's been over 100 degrees for like the last eight days and we are miserable. But I'm happy because I'm here for you. So today, let's start off with today's poll. Today, I want to know what camera are you shooting on? Are you Nikon, Canon, Sony, something other than that? Maybe Fuji or Olympus? Leave your answer here in the card up above. But Today's episode isn't about that at all. Today's episode is about efficiency and how we can work more efficiency. So let me explain exactly what I mean by that. Recently, I was working with a client in one-on-one -on -one, in our one-on-one -on -one sessions, and we've gotten to the point now where we are getting our images off of the camera into Lightroom and actually editing them. Awesome. But now that the photos are edited, we're not doing anything else. We're not taking the images further. We're not printing them. We're not really doing anything with them. So as a way to kind of inspire or organize what we're going to do with the pictures now that we've found what our favorites are, made some changes to them, what can we do to help us better organize what to do with them next? So I've come up with a solution because I'm a little OCD like that. What we're going to do is use our collections to help organize ourselves into projects. And so we're going to jump in and we're going to create a projects bin. This is basically just a container that's going to hold all of the projects that we have to work on. Now projects are going to differ from person to person and you might have projects that I'm not thinking of, but I want to keep this as simple as possible. And for that reason, I've come up with three projects that I think everyone will probably find themselves in at one form or another. The first project is prints. Okay, that's probably the obvious one. So we're gonna create a container for all of our things that we want to print. Now, the way you could organize prints is you can organize them by person, uh, like if you have grandma or your mom, as is the case for me, my mom is always asking me for pictures. I can create a folder bin just for my mom and anytime I wanna print something for her, I can stick it in there. But a more practical way, aside from doing it by the person, is doing it by the size. So instead, I'll create in three, two, one, the light is gonna go bye-bye because it's dead. Or maybe not. Or maybe so. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. So, not. Organizing your photos by size. In other words, if you're gonna print four by sixes, eight by 10, 16 by 20s, create collections that allow you to organize your pictures based on the size of the prints that you wanna get done. <sighs> Ta-da! And we're back. So where were we? We were talking about organizing our photos by size, eight by 10s, four by sixes, etc. But that's more of the obvious thing. So once we're done setting up our collections for the prints that we want to do and the sizes of prints, here is our second project that we can create. So the next project that I would consider making is for photo books. Photo books are really awesome. You can use them as gifts. You can give them to family members. It's a great way to collect all of the pictures either from a trip, a vacation, or just over the year that year. So go ahead and create photo books for those types of things, but we need a place to store them. So I can create maybe a photo book for Africa or maybe for Italy or for wherever the places that you've been, create a photo book for that project. Lastly, or number three, we can create slideshows. So I wanna create a project for all of my slideshows and again, Maybe that's a slideshow for Africa or a slideshow for a photo book, something like that. Now that I have these three projects and their respective bins in place, all we have to do now is just add our photos to those bins. And what's great about this is if the same picture is going to find its way printed and in a photo book and in a slideshow, that's okay. 
collections you can have the same photo and as many collections as you want and what's great about this is those photos don't get duplicated on your hard drive so it's a great way to organize these edited files into projects that we now need to do things with without creating these excess files and folders and things like that but the idea of this whole entire thing is to inspire you now to take these photos that we've edited and do something with them. Share them with the ones you love, share them with the world on the internet, share them with, I don't know, whoever. Share them with me. I'd love to see your photos. That's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for your comments, subscribes, all that good jazz. Don't forget to follow us on social media like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that goodness. That's it. My name is Adam. I'm out.